Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Old World Blues playing as those great, great cons. So last time, we eventually took out the Sorrows, which was a great thing. We still need core of the territory, but right now we are in a little bit of a war with the uh, the folks over here in New Vegas, which actually are fighting the Legion as well. I didn't realize that, but they're fighting the Legion for all things. The war for New Vegas. Um, so yeah, we got a couple of comms to go through, and gunfire in the streets of Vegas. Well, okay. Hopefully we don't lose here. Uh, we already did the last stand. I'm actually going to go ahead and send at least one infantry division this way because, yeah, this wasn't great. With all the infantry up here and a few motorized defending down here, that's not a smart idea, but it is what it is. Um, I'm going to have these send these guys down here as well because this tile is going to get hit the most, probably, out of everything. Not looking good, but with some old friends, you know? With some old friends, some, like the fiends and stuff. Let's see. Crush the white legs, we could do that. Jeremy the Punk. Uh, chance. It was recommended or told in the comments yesterday that even though the, the uh, cons, they almost never use melee weaponry. Chance did use a combat knife as a melee weaponry, even though uh, the cons generally like to boast about their physical toughness. But Chance here, he instead liked to use a melee weapon. Uh, drugged up? Hmm. Replace founders of the chem trade with Crimson Caravan Chem Dealers. Better weapon, infantry weapon, research time, less consumer goods, which is good for us. Yeah, why not? The NCR officially has a has officially has a ban on addictive drugs, but the Crimson Caravan and many of the wealthy, independent merchants that make up the NCR frequently turn a blind eye in order to make a profit. This allows us to spread our influence throughout the corrupt elite of the NCR. And actually, what are, what are they talking about? They're talking about not the followers' influence, but fiend drug running, which we'll lose in a few months, but, you know, it is what it is. We could use more civilian factors, which would be very nice. And they actually killed us off at Bitter Springs. Wow, that is not good for us. That is really, really not good. But that doesn't mean it's over. That doesn't mean we're going to lose. That just means we lost the battle. And we're pretty close to capitulating, but we won't be for a while. Okay, seriously. Come attack us and kill us. Or give us back our base. Let's get some more strength first. And then I'm going to attack them once again. Uh, oh, we lost a lot of factorinos, huh? Well, that's not ideal. Lower to one then. Wow, we only have, what, like three factories? Well, that sucks. That really sucks. Uh, we could probably attack here and do fairly okay. I'm actually going to convert... I'm not going to rip a hat saying half of you guys this way, because all of you guys are going to attack right now. What the heck are you doing? No, go that way, and then go that way. There you go. Tracking dogs would be good. Let's grab some quadrant searching as well. See what happens. Uh, excuse me. Come on. They're not that difficult, are they? You've got to win. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. Now, see, this is nice. This is nice when Vegas rise up, rises up against itself. Yeah, go ahead. Kill them off. Go right ahead. Move, 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 move if you can. Get in the battle. Get in the battle. There's no way in here. New Vegas is downfall. Great. Well, this is definitely different than what I expected. Yeah, kill them all off. Kill every single one of them off if... Okay. Are they fighting the Legion? No. Um. Well, if House takes out the King, this is definitely not what I was expecting. I'll be honest here. I mean, we lost a few factories, but we got our factories back. This actually might make Vegas actually much, much weaker. Let's see. They have 8 to 18. Normal Vegas has 70. Okay, then. Why not? Well, we just lost all progress with that, but that gives me time to build myself up a little bit more, which is kind of nice. And repair some of the stuff, too. So go and repair and repair if you can. That'd be very good. That was <laughs> really, really unexpected, I'll be honest. Now, we lost a lot of stability, which really... Wait, we're still... War... Oh, the damn... Ah, oh, the damn busters. And they're fighting the Legion. Oh. Well, okay. I mean, why not? You know, why not? Why not? Uh, a couple other comments. So, I recommend I play the Enclave Reborn mod. Now, at the time of this recording, I've already played through all four campaign paths in the Enclave Reborn. Uh, so, it probably wouldn't be too interesting. But you know what? I'm open to the idea. I don't mind going back and actually playing as one of the paths again. Because it's been a while since I've actually played as, as with the Enclave Reborn. And it sounds like a lot of fun, actually. So, maybe I will. Maybe I will do that. Let's go ahead and do some eradication. Let's get rid of all this god dang resistance. That's such trash. Lower the resistance by 0 0.4. 0 0.5. 0 0.4. And how about by 0.4 again? Crimson Caravan deals. Why not? On the move? Um, I guess why not? The guns never stop moving to do this effectively, though. We must be able to live off what the land provides and ensure our industry is always able to follow us. Very, very good. So, yeah. Uh, I'll totally play as Enclave Reborn mod again sometime. Not sure when. Time is limited at the time of this recording, so... We'll definitely see what happens. Let's get some more guns if we cannot. 
Okay then. Plant cultivation. Oh, that uh, partially that partially that is because we're trying to do resistance suppression or eradication. I should really say. So it is what it is. In the meantime, let's grab some more energy cell gain. Multi-purpose equipment is a very good thing to grab. Very very good. Armored assault's not bad. Let's see over here. Water might be good. Research speed. Support. Do we need more support equipment? Not really. We make enough. Armored assault is very good. And let's grab some rapid motorized deployment for more speed. Doesn't really help us that much, but you know, speed is always nice. North Vancouver taking in a raid. 17 divisions. Uh, I mean, they have plenty of. Yeah, we're probably gonna end up like another battle again over here. I don't understand what the AI thinks. Why the AI thinks that this is okay? 12 divisions for a single province compared to seven for two. Like AI, are you? You dumb. I get it. You dumb. Okay, so if that's the case, you're just gonna come here, at Bitter Springs, and make sure we don't lose it again. And you guys are not gonna be stupid and do that. This balances things out so much better. Six, six, and. Two. 7 is better than 7 or 12 3 3 like in what universe does that make sense AI it makes no sense but we got some recon companies that'd be good we might get some saws let's go ahead and get some maintenance companies too that'd be very nice actually and can we core this stuff yet no we cannot resistance is almost completely done actually field drug, drug running whatever uh, since this is so low I'm gonna go ahead and switch this back oh I can't, oh, I can't sw individually switch it out oh that sucks oh yeah you can of course you can pacification let's start Increasing uh, compliance here much, much, much more. Now we get more and more resistance, but whatever, that's fine. Anything, they're all below two now, which is good. I'm going to go ahead and increase you as well to about that. Multi-purpose equipment, equipment is nice. We get some flexible designs. That'd be very good, very, very good. More motorized is a good thing. Now with this war, this next war, we should actually do better since a lot of the divisions probably should have already died, which would be a nice thing. Occupy territories. 73, that's nice. 69, nice. Very nice. Now it's Air Force Base. Alright, let's go back and do pacification for everyone. Wow, that's a lot more resistance right there. And we need less firearms to put them down, but whatever. I got all this political power. This is weird where I have so much political power, I don't really know what to do with it, though. More attack and defense, honestly. Uh, I guess we might as well, since we already have some infantry here. We should have enough anti-tank to do this, too, so... Are they going to attack us? No. We can try to attack them. It probably won't go super great, but we'll see what happens. You know, we can see what happens. Alright, they send another division in or something. Uh, have you guys help out right here. Can we pierce them? Yes, we can. Can they pierce us? Eh, probably. So far, it seems like we're winning, which is a good thing. We're on the move. And dropped up chems or cons. By giving out a larger amount of chems before battle, we were able to dope up our men and put them and putting them in a fit of rage and giving them a significant attack bonus at the cost of organization. Now I don't know what that's gonna do. It seems like it could be okay, it could be also very bad. We'll see what happens. They've lost a thousand, they've lost not a thousand. Not bad. Hey, we actually won. Actually, Nellis Air Force Base is a capital. Getting New Vegas like this would be awesome. There was a comment yesterday stating that uh once we get New Vegas, we should just keep expanding throughout and beyond the Mojave, just to form a great conate, which actually sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. But what we're going to do next is I'm going to send half you guys here, but then half you guys are going to go right there because the Motorized is going to do their best to come here, here, to here. So we can circle these four divisions over there, take one division, do sort of the same thing, and do that. There you go. We should be able to win, but then again, I've been wrong before. If you just keep death stacking, we can pierce each other. Oh, we might not be able to win. Come on, guys, keep it up. Do a good job. I was also recommended I use it to get a general with a lucky attribute to get more equipment. Oh, that sucks. We didn't win. Hmm. Alright, infantry. It's all you then. Let's see what you can do about that there. Uh, let's see. Resource efficiency gain or work camps. Why not? 72. We might win. We might not. We'll see what happens. 73. A little more promising. Can you go up there and do that? 75. Oh, some of the divisions are starting to get a little weak. Organization is not our strong suit right now. Come on. I hate fighting robots without glorious anti-tank. He's starting to get a little more injured. So be it, so be it. Throw it in there. Maintenance companies would actually be very good for motorized. Let's get the next level as well. We're going to incur a lot of losses, but if we can somehow manage to squeak these guys out, that would be great. We might be able to, maybe. Flexible designs, that'll help out. That'll be good. Part standardization, good. Really, this is quite the early game struggle still, in my mind. Once we get enough, like, gliders, we should do a lot better, but... 
That's definitely a struggle. And their motorized are not looking good. Neither are their robots. Not too bad, but not... Are you kidding me? No. Keep up the attacks. You're not done yet, son. You're not, you're far from done. You cannot allow them to heal up. Yeah, attacking with these guys, not a great idea. These guys are actually really weak. The left branch of the focus tree is incredibly... Not focus tree. The land doctrine is incredibly weak. I think it needs maybe a few boss, because it doesn't give you that much. It gives you speed, and you use up more supply. It doesn't help you that much. Uh, new tactics, warpath, eh, that's okay. The logical option. Few in the wasteland are worthy of even considering of an alliance with the Khans, but across Colorado, a very similar base awaits. The Legion maintains many of the same views we do, including undying hatred of the NCR, so we should cozy up with them. Who knows? Maybe they even we might even crush the NCR together. Oh, we're about to core this stuff. That's good. Thank God. I think it's a little bit more manpower, which we could use, but more factories, which I really, really desperately need. And reduce resistance as well, which would be a good thing. Good. A few more factories would be nice to use. Uh, Mr. House. Yeah. 10 to 20 divisions. Just or stupidly strong divisions. Just stupidly strong. They do have a bunker house there. Nothing over there. Uh, we probably couldn't win right here. Yeah, this is kind of stupid. Oh god, how much infantry equipment do we need? Jesus Christ. Zion is next, because look at those resources. Those factories would be great to have. We have 19 factories, and now we have 23. Not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Good. Help out with the motorcycles. Help out with the guns. Help out with pretty much everything here. I mean, Fort Pierce isn't bad in terms of manpower. It's not as good as Kanab, though. 24? 26? Vermilion Cliffs would not be bad either, but Fort Pierce is better. So, Not bad, not bad. We're doing better, though. We're doing definitely better. I just wish they would attack us. And the division-wise, they're like... One, eight. Yeah, that's pretty good for them. Well, in the meantime, we can just kind of hang out, get some more anti-tank. Why is it still going up? Is this going up? Please don't tell me it's going up. If anything, it should be going down. We just core like three places, right? You saw me core like three places. It's not going up. Or... What is going on here? What the heck is going on? Hmm. Uh, we might as well do this. Adobe housing. Might as well. Let's see. Occupied territories. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm not sure why resistance is not going down. It's barely going down. At least that's good. Maintenance companies. Re uh, yeah, let's get some recon. Let's throw some... Oh, we don't have enough. We could try another attack, but our soldiers are just not strong enough. Log logical option. Cool. Uh, rapid motorized deployment. Uh, let's go with... More war support would not be bad. New tactics. We might as well do that. While our clashes with the NCR have meant... We... Ha While our clashes with the NCR have meant we know a thing or two about how they fight, it also means they know a thing or two about how we fight. We just need to stay unpredictable. Not a bad idea. Yeah, this path, it's, it's not really that strong. It gives you org five organization, maybe 5% more soft attack, and speed. Stuff for tanks that you can't even get to. Even more speed. Mechanized warfare, I don't know. I think it needs to get looked at it once again, but, you know, that's just me. Coordinated onslaught, more soft attack, hard attack, more supply use, and more organization for... Wait, is that just for the entire army, which is good, but we'll see what happens. I don't mind coring all of this, but... Hmm... I'm going to core this one first so we get some more factories. Now we finally have 15. Now we can actually start building stuff up in 2279. And we actually have a good amount of manpower. So that's actually really good. Oh, we actually have more here. That's good. Dude, that's good. Very good. Very good. Uh, which place has highest infrastructure? Uh, Kanab does. Uh, so we'll build up some military factories there too. That'd be good. Only 0.68. Ad why is it so low? Well, stability is pretty bad right now, actually. That's probably why. Help out uh, some settlements to get even more factories. Drugged up. More attack and defense. Oh, that's not bad for almost two months. Drug run to the fiends. Okay, that's interesting. We actually get 15% more attack. That's not a bad idea, actually. Guns are looking a little better. Motorized is looking just a little bit better. Let's see anything else. War camps are nice. Playing as a tribal nation is not easy. I swear, man, it's not easy. So we're done with this side for the most part. We can do other stuff down there, but we can wait. Plane-wise, we can't do too much. Aerial warfare, we could do stuff. Civilized, can't do anything there. Support equipment. There's really not much we can do, which kind of sucks. Let's get more breakthrough, though. Guerrilla tactics would be very beneficial for us. I want to attack here, but they're so strong. Like, robots? They have heavy robots. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I wish I could get APCs. I really wish they did not limit us to three or five lines of three depth. Or, you know, five by three. I really don't wish we could edit that. I really wish we could change that back. To the olden days. You know what? Get recon on our guys. They're gonna need it. 
Should give it to the infantry, but whatever. And we still have enough support equipment, which is good. Which is good. Oh, we can actually build more stuff? Yeah, don't mind if we do. Uh, if anything, build up some roads first. We're going to build up our resources, and then in between, I'm going to build up some more factories as well. So, Adobe housing is always good to grab. Let's grab some additional planning. So, hardness, less speed, but a little more hardness, which is fine with me. It's not bad. And the next factory will go to motorcycles, which is not a bad thing. New tactics, not bad. The Great Warpath. All those who stand between us and our ambitions must fall to their knees before us to war. Yeah, they're still fighting over that little dirt patch over there, huh? Anti-tank is not looking bad. Infantry equipment, one a day. At this point, I just want to core this so we can stop having all this resistance. Like, why is it not going down any further? Eradicate them. Point four? Point five? Point four. Goes down to point five. And then point four again. Just go ahead and put them down. And that actually might have reduced the amount of guns that we need. So, great. Great. Oh, just core it. There we go. Nice. Not bad, not bad. So we had that all cord. All the support is cord for the great guns. Not bad, not great, but not bad. I want to attack again, but they're slowly getting more and more strength, which is getting really... It's not going to be very easy for us to do it all. And we're missing so much equipment, it's not even funny. Recon those, going to be very nice. We can eventually get more recon. Eventually, let's get some logistic companies because we can. But get some recon on our infantry, that'll definitely help out. Especially if we build up ourselves more, 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 more. Let's see, drugged up. Yeah, drugged up would not be bad to do. We're okay on water. We just need one more circuitry. Actually, when are you, you going to be done? September 15th, so within a little more than two weeks, that's not too bad. Yeah, they keep throwing out more divisions. We'll probably attack here next. Oh, we got another division. Great. Hmm. Should go right there. Because I want to attack here next. It's probably going to be a bad idea. Props in the drug trade. Well, that's not bad. What if you did that? You probably won't be able to win, but we could try. I mean, the organization for these guys... Is it 50, it's okay, 59? So, why can't we win here? Let's see. The organization... It just, it just drops. It just drops, like, an insane amount. I'm not sure why it does that, though. I really am not sure why. Like, yeah, we're attacking and all... And maybe terrain's really bad. Oh, it is mountains, I suppose, but come on. Uh, disappointing. Mass production, let's do that one next. Well, else every con can fight well armed, well unarmed, it's not always feasible, especially when facing down NCR troopers armed to the teeth with guns. We should focus on making weapons. Yeah, attacking here, we lose too much organization too quickly. Like, this is ridiculous. They're just an impregnable fortress, which means we gotta make them attack us, so CQC training next, and we're gonna do what is tried and true. Let's leave. Maybe we can bait them into attacking us. Maybe, maybe not. No, they don't even want to attack. I don't know what's wrong with these guys. What the heck? Go even further out. Just leave one division. If they don't attack me, there's something wrong with the AI then. Yeah, there's something wrong with the AI. You know what? If that's the case, I will see you in just a little bit after I built myself up a little bit more. My apologies about that, but that what took way too long, but I'll talk about it in just a little bit. So, here's New Vegas. We just took them out because, well, it took forever and something was wrong with New Vegas or maybe just the game in general. But right now, it's May 24th, 2280. So, it's been about a few months? Six months? Seven, eight, nine months? I don't remember. Uh, the Kaisar took out the damn busters, which is you know, whatever. It's fine with me. I don't really care. Uh, let's see. Mojave chapter is, of course, allied with the NCR. So, we can't really take them out, but maybe we can go to war with a certain... Reaver Nation, but we got stuff to do. So, the way I took him out was basically just... Oh, false, capture the false Khan. Following the occupation of New Vegas, we've quickly rooted out the pretender Khan from the New Vegas regime hosted. We, we will ensure they are swiftly reintegrated into the cons. Remove National Spirit. Wait, hold on. We don't have that. False cons. we got con culture, which is good and bad at the same time. Still see it's addicted cons. It is what it is. Well, stories of the night's going to be... Uh, okay. But, uh, whatever. Okay, so the way you, I took him over. is basically, I continually try to pull out my soldiers until they attack me, and then reinforce. But my god, like, at the end of the war, like, right before they capitulated, they had ex the exact... Actually, I had a little bit more casualties than they do, because robots don't take that many uh, casualties at all. Which really was stupid, because I'm not sure how, because they would attack for a while. 
And then they would just stop attacking. They they would lose like maybe 10% of their organization, maybe just like 5% of their strength, and then they just stop attacking for some unknown reason. I don't know why that happens, why the AI just stops attacking, even when they have more than enough organization to continue. They just continue to attack, or they just stopped attacking. Like, And also, I finished up this, this stuff here. I, already, I did one with, I went with war equipment just so we could get more breakthrough. Laser weaponry is okay, but... It is what it is. Um, but yeah, I, I don't understand why the AI just thinks, oh, how about we just attack and then just stop. And just stop for no reason. Even though you're not out of organization. But regardless, that war is over. That was actually, that took a lot longer off screen than I thought. It was, it wasn't really that enjoyable, to be honest. I don't know why New Vegas is impossible to kill like that, even though they've only like level one forts around them. It doesn't make any sense why they're so unbelievably, I want to say strong, because they're not that strong. It just, the AI would just stop attacking, or you just lose, and just, you wouldn't win, because... Maybe they have a bunker? They have no air support. Or at least, we, no one had air support, but regardless. The war's over. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Upgrade the arsenal now. No matter how courageous our forces are in battle, they can't defeat an NCR trooper with a laser musket when only equipped with a knife. We should upgrade our weaponry so that our prowess can shine. Which, honestly, doesn't really help us at all, since we already won the war, but whatever. Nope. Uh, we should probably get more political power, because we can. Uh, during this entire time, I just, I just was trying to upgrade my infrastructure, so that's pretty much all I did. Uh, as you can see, we have eh, more organization here. Bitter Springs is nice in terms of uh, infrastructure. That's not too bad. We got some more factories here, which is really good as well, but we now have to core all this area, which is going to take a while. Oh, my goodness. I'd like to go to World of Sky Reavers, but I'm a little apprehensive right now just because we just had a major war. We need probably more guns. Yeah, we need way more guns. We need more motorized vehicles. We're doing well on everything else. Like Anti-tank is doing pretty well. Uh, we, I, I did use drug up, drugged up, so we get more attack and defense, which was, which was pretty useful, not gonna lie, but, you know, even then, it wasn't great. 75. Even more consumer goods? I think we're okay for now. Let's buy some more infantry equipment. Get some, make some saws, wouldn't be bad. I've been starting to do some specialized warfare as well, because we're running out of things to do. Special forces expansion, because we can. I might use special forces, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Uh, for now, though... That's not bad. Oh, we have the Fiends under us, too. That's right. Vegas, Jacobstown, and Fiends. Uh, no, it's Earth Force Base, but yeah, Robert House. I, I don't know. We're definitely going to core this first, though. So. You have to core New Vegas when you get it to it. So we're going to save up all that political power. Air base raids aren't bad. Light machine guns aren't pretty good. are pretty good. Formation fighting, why not? And then we'll grab some dive bombing as well, but yeah. <sighs> that war just... Hmm. Mm -mm. Bitter Springs Massacre. Blood was split today. Or spilt today, and someone will pay. When the NCR came to the Mojave, we thought they would e be, be easy pickings. We raided the caravans, or towns, and the camps. They couldn't stop us. At least that's what we thought. In massive numbers, they are sick. Uh, they tracked us to Bitter Springs and surrounded us. When our children, our sick and old, fled through a nearby pass, the NCR gunned them down to the last. And when we stood and fought, they crushed us with numbers we cannot even dream of. This will not go unpunished. We will have our pound of flesh from the NCR. First, however, we have to bide our time. Gather our strength and rebuild our ranks. As the old saying goes, we must forgive our enemies, but not before they are hanged. Revenge will be so sweet. Bitter Springs industry is decimated. Ooh, never again will our people be caught helpless. More defense, more speed, less division training time. Oh, we're going to be decimated anyway, so we get more speed. So this one gives you a little bit less speed. I like more attack. I think more attack would be very beneficial. Oh, crap. But, well, I mean, it'll be decimated, so we can rebuild. Oh, my goodness, yeah. Some of this is ooh, not bad, not great. Bitter Springs. Uh, decimated, it's not that bad. Just saying, it's, uh, we would rather not be decimated, but okay. Yeah, okay, sure, why not? Mm, we could probably do mercenary training instructors, but like I said, we gotta save ourselves up just for a little bit first. Make ready for war. Yeah, we definitely want to murder the NCR. And so does the Legion, so that'll be a good thing. We'll probably ally with them. Ah, oh, NCR soldiers are down here too. They really want to kill us off. I see. Uh, let's go and do this. Get more. Get more. Upgrade the arsenal. Now, we did cheap firearms. Honestly, firearms, firearms bonus. Slashing melee? Heavy melee. Actually, does, is heavy melee, heavy melee just one step further on? Eh, not really. Uh, I wonder what happens if I started researching that, actually. Eh, we're gonna do a con, can hold his own. To, in, in order to even join the cons, a warrior must prove he can hold his own in one-to-one -one battle. We never enemies don't even receive the same training. Because we can get bonuses of firearms, but... Eh, I know this doesn't make sense if we actually get that technology, but... It is what it is. Get some more infantry equipment because we could use it. We could actually probably use more slaves too, but we can't really probably buy any more, so. Never again. Oh, we can get common ballistic weaponry. That'd be actually very good. But yeah, I'm not I'm not fighting the New Vegas. I don't know what's wrong with them. Something was up with them. That was just not good. 
No, oh, we can do that as well. Keep building ourselves up, though. That's always good to do. And build more infrastructure. Infrastructure is really nice. Very, 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 very nice. I mean, we might be able to win against these guys, but... Hmm, they got demo teams, saws. We don't have planes yet. We've got to build ourselves up and core a lot of areas first. And we've got anti-tank, demo teams, chems. All really good stuff. Don't get me wrong, but... Oh, we need recon here. Yeah, let's grab some recon. And then maybe doggos? Because we probably don't need logistic companies, but doggos would probably be pretty good. Okay, that okay, that just jumped jump by minus 3,200 to minus 2,700. Is this going up again? Yes, it is. It is unfortunate that it is going up. Oh, but we do get cores on these areas if we kill them off fast enough, which is actually really nice. Heavens get to Clearborn and High Chapel, that's fine. West End Pacification, just do eradication for now. Fiends, do eradication. We'll leave the Vegas stuff for now. But let's get the resistance down here f finalized. That's going to look worse for a while, but that's okay. That's totally okay. Armor hardening, cool. Very cool. Better armor for those guys. We're done here. And you know what? We're done here. And we're done here, unfortunately. And we're done here. And we're done here. We already got coordinated onslaught. Uh, we could work on this stuff as well if we really wanted to. Strategic bombing, because why not? We don't even have a dockyard. Followers of the apocalypse arrive. Wait, they arrive. I thought they were already here. After the events of Bitter Springs, we were lucky enough to be approached by a small group of technologically advanced people who presented themselves as followers of the apocalypse. As a gesture of the goodwill, they presented us with gifts of technology and new ideas, which will undoubtedly be of great use to us in our upcoming struggles. Okay, um, why not? Yeah, we can maybe use this eventually. Maybe even make some pioneer kits. We'll see what happens. Well, we just need more military factories. We need a buttload more military factories. Wow. Yeah, we can. We really need to core all this stuff. Vegas, come on, man. Come on. Uh, keep doing resistance stuff for now. Good, 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 good. Eventually we will... Because uh, manpower... I thought manpower would be much more of an issue, but it's actually just infantry equipment for now. Because once we core, core enough, we do pretty darn well. I'm going to put you guys over here for now. It's fine. Uh, a Khan can hold his own, yeah. Cool, and fail our enemies. A true Khan warrior is one that does not cower when directly in the face of his enemy. The event when outgunned and outnumbered. Or even when that happens. They instead pull it together and destroy anyone who opposes them against at all odds. And well, the thermic lance they wield sure helps. Alright, so let's see. Does that actually give us the slashing stuff? Or do we get both? Oh, we do get it unlocked. That's kind of cool. I suppose I could research it, but... Um, if we can get common ballistic weaponry, I think that's better than getting heavy, heavy melee weapon stuff. Because their breakthrough is 5. This one has a breakthrough of 4. Still, this is still better, but soft attack wise, they're actually equal. It's just slightly more defense... Same production cost. Piercing is actually a little better over here. Reliability is actually not as good as this one. And speed's about the same. Interesting. Hmm. Never knew that. But anyways, riders, spec ops, clan foot runners. We don't have any doggos yet. I'd love to get some doggos. Because they do give you just a little bit more reconnaissance, which is okay. A little more breakthrough. Yeah, definitely get the doggos. Once we have the industry, of course, for it. Keep building up some more industry. That'd be great, great, great. Anything over here? No air force. No navy. Yeah, we probably got to start doing some of that stuff, too. I do want to go with Slavers of the Ways, but we'll see what happens. Uh, can we, we can't buy anything more, because we're out of stuff. Minus 1,600 is not bad. We're doing better on uh, cars. Let's go ahead and grab the next one. Acclimatization training. Cool. Why not? Manpower is looking great. I mean, it's looking really, really great. Go ahead and do more pacifications to get some more compliance in both. Here, go ahead and eradicate the resistance. There's go there's got There can't be any resistance. Crush them all. But you know what? I think I'll play this just a little bit off screen. We'll get some more technology done, and then we'll be back when we I might have been able to get 195% compliance in New Vegas. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed this episode, which was a little bit of a struggle bus between us and Vegas, but they're gone now. But hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we invade the Sky Ravers. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.